Hey everyone, my name is Coach Gert and I want to thank you for joining us today. First of all, we are going to warm up today for a good five minutes to make sure that body is ready to go. And then we'll go into your workout. Now let me quickly summarize today's workout for you. It's going to be that very thorough warm up, making sure our body is good to go. And then we will be going into a minute of jogging with a minute of walking. And we will be doing this for a full 30 minutes. Now you might ask me, Gert, why would you want to do that? Well, it's going to build your stamina from the ground up. And we're going to help you get that endurance that you want for your longer runs. So let's get right into it, guys. Okay team, here's what you can expect from your display. This program is walker, jogger and sprinter friendly. So no matter what level of fitness you are in or how you want to utilize this program, you are able to do it. Now team, in the top left corner, you'll see your current segment. You'll see the speed or pace indication for our walkers, our joggers and our sprinters. You'll also see how long this segment will be and what the incline will be. Now in this program, you can choose any incline between a zero to a two. Normally I would suggest a one because that is technically plain running surface. So feel free to adjust your incline in between that zero to a two, but a one would be preferred. Then team left bottom corner will explain to you what is next. Your faster or your slower segment will be indicated with that first beep or that triple beep. And then team, you'll see your remaining time. Everyone wants to know exactly how long they've got left in this program. It also tells you how hard you can push. Now team, what we want to see is that you are in that blue to green zone, preferably in your slower minute and then in that orange to red zone in your faster minute and all our indications are exactly that just indications so team feel free to push your limits go faster go harder push your incline more if you want to this program can be used as your goals see fit i hope you enjoy this run enjoy every single second of it Team, let me quickly explain the speed brackets to you. For our walkers out there, any speed between a two to a five mile per hour would be acceptable for your slower minute. And then anything between a three to a six mile per hour would be acceptable for your faster minute. If you're a jogger, anything between a four to a seven mile per hour would be good for your slower minute and roughly the same range, maybe a little bit faster, eight or a nine possibly if you can in your faster minute, but feel free to also utilize that walking pace when you are a jogger. And then our sprinters out there that really want to push their limits, anything between a six to a nine mile per hour for your slower minute and anything above eight miles per hour, for your faster minute would be great to see in reality. It is really a hard push if you do go that fast. So team, good luck to everyone, our walkers, joggers, and sprinters. I know you guys got this. We start our official run in three, two, and one. Let's go. This is your first comfortable pace. I don't need you to push here at all. If you are walking, this is a comfortable walking pace. We are just getting started. If you are jogging with me, this is a comfortable, slow jog. Just to feel it out, if you get what I'm saying. Feel those ankles, where they are. Those knees need to be nice and gently placed underneath that body. Feel where your hips are, shoulders are nice and back. Shake it out if you need to. We are just getting comfortable. You've got 25 more seconds left before we pick up the pace. Now team, we're going to pick up the pace and you'll hear a triple beep in three, two, one, let's go. 
this is your signal to speed it up. Yes team, I won't be speaking the whole entire time. I want you to zone out and focus on those goals. So you'll be hearing a single beep or single signal when you need to slow it down and a triple signal if you need to pick it up. We are pushing for another 30 seconds. Now this needs to be a strong fast walk or a strong jog. I don't need you to sprint at all unless you are an elite athlete that really wants to push their speed and sprinting abilities. But you've got 15 more seconds and I know you can do this. You are almost two minutes into your first 30 minute workout with me. We are going into our slower interval in three, in two, in one. That is your signal for your slower interval. Now as you're doing your slower interval, make sure you open up those lungs and breathe. If you need to walk slowly or jog slowly, feel comfortable too. We are going to try and maintain this whole entire cycle and interval for 30 minutes in total. Now you need to try and also find a place that you can mark for your distance that you will want to measure to see if you are making progress every week that you are doing this program. 20 more seconds here guys for you to recover. If you need to grab a sip of water feel free to. I always like taking a sip of water in the beginning of my run just to hydrate me a little bit. 10 more seconds. We're going to speed it up in 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. We are speeding it up again. We are going for a minute. Now team, we are just starting this journey together. I started my journey back in Africa where I started running to escape everything I needed to. Freedom was what I experienced when I ran and this is why I share this moment with you today. I hope you experience some freedom and some escape with me on this trade or on your outdoor run. Give me 10 more seconds here before we slow it down and bring down that pace again. We've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. That was awesome. Really good work. Excellent, guys. We've got another 40 seconds here. Now, I want you to truly zone into your breathing for the next 40 seconds. Make sure you are inhaling as deeply as you can. And then let's set a goal. What do you want to achieve in this run? What distance? What feeling? If you have a heart rate monitor with you that measures your calorie count, that you're burning, how many calories do you want to burn today? But most importantly, what is it that you want to shed off this shoulders that you are holding on to today? We've got three, two, one, good job. That was awesome. We are going into our next interval. Team, I'm going to let you focus on that goal. I'm going to let you focus on you here. And I'm going to check in with you ever so often. But enjoy this rhythm, enjoy this beat, and enjoy this run. I want to remind you that you are strong, you are capable, and you are able to do what you set your mind to. So even if it feels hard, even if it's tough, remember you can do this. We go into our next interval in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1.
23 more minutes of this run for you to complete. Now guys, now that you know what your goals are, make sure you keep them in mind at all times. Let's go check in with that body. You've got 15 more seconds here. Shoulders back, core engaged. Make sure you are comfortable with your shoulders. If they are up towards your ears, relax them. Three, two, and one. Next interval. Can you believe it? You've been in here for seven minutes now. Okay, team, you've got another 30 seconds here. You guys got this. I want you to quickly ask yourself, how hard am I willing to push today? Because you know what the full capacity of this workout is. If you want to push that final, final five or 10 minutes, you can. For now, I want your heart rate to be anything between that orange and green zone at all times. I don't really want you to push into that red zone unless you really feel you need to push hard today. Then you can go at it, but preferably within that orange and green zone. So team, keep moving, keep, keep that body driving towards that finish line. You are already eight minutes and 20 seconds into your workout. Give me another 40 seconds here before we switch into your next interval. You got this. Looking good and feeling amazing, team. Let's get that body going. There we go, guys. You are 8 minutes and 39 seconds in. Now, you've got 20 more seconds before we go into our next interval. What's super important here to know is that this first 10 minutes of this run was to get you nice and comfy nice and warmed up. The second 10 minute segment of this 30 minute workout will be, let's quickly change that interval, one of your harder pushes. We want to make sure that we really push hard in the next 10 minutes of this workout. And that is why we're gonna take 10 minutes to cool down at the end of this workout. Your pace will very slow at the end of your run today. So make sure that you really set yourself up for success in the next 30 seconds. You've got 15 more seconds. You know what? I think I'm actually going to give you guys a recovery. Let's go into a recovery in three, two, one. You can bring that pace down. Good job and congratulations on finishing that first 10 minute interval. So you can just jog it out nice and slowly or walk nice and easily for the next 45 seconds because you already used 15 seconds to recover here. Well done, so amazing. Twenty seconds, let's go. Mentally get yourself ready. You know you got this. I'm with you. You know you got this all the way. If you are on that trade, anything between a five to an eight will be acceptable. Now we go in three, we go in two, we go in one. Let's get it. Now if you want to do that strong jog pace, at anything higher than I just said. Feel free to do that. Remember this run is yours. A 
amazing work so far. 11 minutes and 30 seconds into this run. Really check in with those goals again. How far away from your end goal are you? We are done with one third of this workout. Give me 15 more seconds. We are switching intervals in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys got this. Well done. You want to make sure that that body is taken care of at all times. So if you can push harder, feel free to. If you need to lay back a little, feel free to do that too. Remember, no judgment in this program. No judgment from us as a team that's here to support you. We only want you to succeed. Looking good. Give me 10 more. Give me 3, 2, 1, and you have your 14th minute. 14th minute, let's go. Now team, the fact that you showed up today is incredible. You know your goals now, you know what you want to achieve. And you want to know that in this block, this second 10 to 20 minute part of your 30 minute run, you really want to push into that higher section of your orange zone, possibly a little bit into your red zone. This is really where you want to see your threshold being pushed to your limits. And yes, if you need to, you can make those recoveries a little bit slower just to get some oxygen into that body. You'll be shifting into a little bit of your anaerobic system here. So make sure you breathe as often as you can. You've got four, three, two, and one. Good job, 14 minutes done and dusted. This type of running style always reminds me of when I was a child. Um, I used to run four, 400 meter sprints every single morning before I had to go to school to get my um, endurance up for my 400 meter com um, competitions and the moment I started not being able to push that hard I would add on an extra sprint for a minute, jog for a minute interval for two more laps just to get myself stronger and these always remind me of that time of my life. But fun and good times back then. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. That's how you learn discipline. We've got four, we've got three, we've got two, we've got one. There we go. Excellent work. 15 minutes in. You only have five more minutes in this higher push. So make sure you adjust accordingly. If you really want to push into that raid zone, make sure you fully, fully, fully engage right now. You want to start picking up the pace on your faster intervals. You want to see if those active recoveries can be a little faster if you really want to increase your distance. Or you can shorten your recovery at the end, but the ideal is for you to recover enough and bring that pace down enough for that body to recover and get rid of the CO2 that you might have accumulated. So keep your pace right now, you're looking good. 10 more seconds. You've got three, two, and one. Good job, 16 minutes in. I mean, if this was me, I would already give myself a little pat on the shoulder here. Put a smile on that face, beautiful. You got this. Or handsome, whatever <laughs> you prefer. Let's get it, team. You are 16 minutes and 30 more seconds in. We have another 35 seconds. Oh, 
I always say people to me look the most beautiful when they run. It's as if all natural inhibitions just come out onto that treadmill. In terms of your biomechanics, your body is moving so naturally. You've got five, you've got four, you've got three, you've got two, you've got one. Good job. 17 minutes in. Give me another three minutes here before we go into your final 10. Yes, you might be wondering, Gert, what are you talking about? I always take running back to Africa and how the human evolution happened and how we progressed into becoming who we are today. Now in the past we used to hunt and we had to run nice and fast to catch the antelope, meaning get them with our spears, if you could get close enough. So for that reason, our bodies definitely are made to run and um, it looks so amazing to see people that has never run before put in the effort. So if that might be you, well done, I'm proud of you today. Let's get it done. You have another 3, 2, 1, good job. 18 minutes in, woohoo! You've got 2 more minutes to go. Now take these final two minutes for yourself. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You've got this. One minute and 40 seconds. Increase that volume on your head. Say, you got this team. Let's move. Listen for those cues. Final 50 seconds before we go into our smaller intervals and shorter and slower intervals. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good freaking job, you guys are awesome. Take a little breather here. I want you to bring your pace down. No matter where you are, what you're doing, take down that pace. You have 45 more seconds just to relax that body and bring it down. There we go, that was 20 minutes of running. Pretty check your heart rate if you can. If you need to take your pulse, feel free to. You want to make sure that your body is good to go. Try to increase the duration of your inhale. Focus on that exhale. Try to blow out candles is always what I tell people. You want to get that full exhale done every single exhale that you take and give. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now good, you have nine more minutes of running left. Now if you are a walker, you can bring that pace down on that treadmill, anything between a 1.5 to a three. If you are jogging, anything again between a four to a six, a little slower, almost the same as the beginning of your run. Just a comfortable jog, you now want to take care of that body. Make sure you get that body flushed with oxygen and all the endorphins and serotonin you might need. You have another 25 seconds here. 
Now, if you are for any reason still looking for that final push, I am going to make sure that you take the next few minutes to do that. Now, in 10 seconds time, we're going into our next interval. If you want to still push, I'm going to give you the next 3 minutes to do that. So let's go in 3, 2, 1, let's go. If you are not able or willing to push or you don't have the need for it, no worries. That wasn't the original intention here. Take it nice and easy. This is your 10 minute cooldown segment. This is only if you really want to push a little harder. Also, if you've done this workout every other week or every week and you are now strong enough to try and push harder, feel free to do that right now. You have 30 more seconds then it's two and a half minutes that you can still push hard if you then want to. If you are in that cooldown phase, taking this nice and easy, well done. You have done this. You are incredible. Five, four, three, two, your next interval. Let's go, go, go. You got this. Seven more minutes. Now for these final seven more minutes, I'm going to leave you alone and I'm going to check in with you in those final two minutes. Make sure that you stay focused on that end goal. We came this far together. You're going to hear me after the next five minutes. So let's focus on your goals, focus on you, make sure you breathe, you've got the stride going. You will hear that countdown for your five minutes total for those that are still pushing to come to an end. And then one more minute of pushing before we have that final five minutes. Let's go. have 25 more seconds to go team let's move that body let's go 20 more seconds here now if you were one of those people that was still pushing make sure you get it done we've got 10 more seconds here before we go into our final five three two one Awesome work. Now we are all going to join in together here for your final five minutes. Yes, I'm going to let you jog it out together. If you want to comment or leave a message for someone that inspired you or inspires you to run, feel free to let them know. I mean, in this time, we need to spread the love a little as often as we can. Team, keep that body intact, relax those shoulders, shake out those arms one more time and give yourself that mental pat on that shoulder. You did amazing, amazing, amazing work. Love what I saw today. Let's go.
good job. 30 more seconds before we go into your final two minutes. Now, as you get to the end of this jog and run, I want you to remember that you can always take your time with your cool down. Your cool down is super important. Our warm up is pretty thorough. Always feel free to add on to that more if you want. So you've got three, two, one, two more minutes. Now these final two minutes is your final two pushes um, in terms of a slow and a fast. Feel free to do with it whatever you want. So if you want to make it a fast one, feel free to. If you just want to keep breathing, feel free to do that too. Phenomenal, phenomenal work. Most people would burn anything between 200 to 600 calories on this one. So if you are between those barriers, feel free to celebrate it. Well done. So good. Three, two, one, one last minute. Let's go. Now, in this final 45 seconds together, I want you to really think about something. One thing that you are grateful for. Well done for today's workout. You did amazing. What is it that you are grateful for? Mention it in your mind as loud as you can. I am grateful for. Fill in the blank. Yes, take a moment to think for what about what you have and how grateful we are for this time that we can spend at home. I know it's frustrating for some, but guys, you did amazing work today. On this run, well done. Give me 10 more seconds here. 10 more seconds, well done. You've got four, you've got three, you've got two, You've got one such good work. Now team, you definitely are done with that run. If you want to walk it out, if you want to jog it out, if you want to do some extra core work, feel free to go to our Instagram. You'll see there's a link in our bio that will make sure you get signed up for our daily workouts. On those daily workouts, you'll also be able to see some core work that some of our coaches are doing. Feel free to add any of those workouts onto this workout for you. And then you'll also see if you go to our website, you have the option to support any of our coaches or our studio. If you want to purchase a gift card or anything that you want to purchase for future membership, please feel free to go and do that today on our website. Super easy to do and complete. We hope you guys enjoyed this run with us. Thank you so much for committing to yourself. We cannot wait for you to join us for your next run. Um, my name is Gert Kruger in LA on Instagram. Feel free to go and add me and then DM me about your run. Tell me how it went. I love hearing from you guys. Cannot wait to hear from you. And then quickly go and follow Dash Run Studio as well. Dash Run Studio. Can't wait to see you guys again soon.